This is one of a series of videos from People's Trust for Endangered Species on practical orchard skills. In this video I'll show you how to bud graft a new fruit tree. If you want to grow a particular variety of fruit, unfortunately you can't just plant a pip and wait for it to grow into a tree. It won't give you the right type of fruit. You need to take material from a tree and graft it onto new roots. I'm going to show you how to do chip budding. This is a process where you take a growth bud from a tree and graft it onto a rootstock. Bud grafting is best done in the summer between July and September. This means that you can use it to graft to any rootstocks that fail to heal a whip and tongue graft from the spring. To bud graft you will need a sharp knife, clotted rootstock, yearwood from the tree that you want to propagate, grafting tape and a label to label your new tree. We do bud grafting in the late summer when the buds in the leaf axles have ripened. So take a piece of this year's growth from the tree that you want to propagate and cut off the leaves to stop it drying out. Leave some of the leaf stalk on because you'll use these as handles later on in the process. We're going to take a healthy looking bud from here and lay it into a matching cut on the rootstock so it helps if the two pieces are a similar size. We're going to do two bud grafts on this rootstock to increase the chances of success. Make a cut about half an inch below the bud at a 45 degree angle. Then do the same half an inch above the bud, drawing your knife down using the length of the blade until you meet the first cut. Now that we've got our chip cut, we need to make a matching cut on the rootstock. Find a clear piece of bark and offer the chip up so that we know where to cut. Always hold the chip by the leaf stalk so that you don't end up touching the cut face. Like before, we want to make our first cut at a 45 degree angle. Then we offer up the chip to work out where to make the second cut. Again, going in at 45 degrees and using the length of the knife until you get to the first cut. We then slot the chip in, snap off the leaf stalk and wrap it up. If you don't get it exactly right the first time, it doesn't matter, you can just adjust your cut until it fits. The idea is to make sure that the cambium layer of the bud and the rootstock are in contact. This is the layer of active growth that will heal the graft when held together. I'm going to wrap the bud up with plastic tape. This both holds the bud in position while the graft heals and also stops it losing any moisture. You can use specialist grafting tape or florist tape or you can even use cut up freezer bags for this. Um, make sure you wrap it really nice and tightly to hold the bud against the rootstock cambium layer um, and then finish it off at the top with a half hitch knot. When you've done your two bud grafts, make sure to label it in case you forget what variety you've grafted onto it. The grafts should take a few weeks to heal, but keep the tape on until just before spring, before removing it. Um, if both of the buds have taken, uh, brilliant, choose the healthiest looking one and do a sloping pruning cut just above the bud. If neither of the buds have taken, it's not the end of the world, you can still use the rootstock to do bench grafting like whip and tongue grafts. When you take the grafting tape off, this is what a healed bud graft should look like just before spring. This bud will grow into the shoot that will become your new tree. It's good to keep this in a pot for a year or so before planting it into your orchard. This gives it a bit of a head start. For more information about grafting and other instructional guides, see the website at www.people.com.
pts.org forward slash orchards.